Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Today is going to be an awesome project, um, but I'm actually not going to be the one showing you the ropes of how to put this thing together. It's going to be my brother. He's uh, joining the channel. He's got some awesome projects, awesome skills that he wants to show you, and it is his first video, so go easy on him. So let's head over to his garage and see what he's working on. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the studio. Today I'm going to show you how I built this scarf cannon. So I got this idea when I went to a children's museum with my four-year-old. They had this exact tubing set up and kids were just loving it. They were putting these balls in and scarves and watching it go all around. And at this museum, they were, they were teaching about natural gas uh, running in, in our society and like how the infrastructure of natural gas works and all that. But they didn't care about that as much. They just wanted to put the balls and the scarves in and they were having an absolute blast. My four-year-old was playing with it for like 45 minutes. So I had to have this in my own home to kind of entertain him, to give myself a break. And it really was pretty simple to build. Um, let me show you. Next step is to cut the PVC pipe down to length uh, so we can start building the scaffolding. So it should be a lot of fun, let's get to it. It's cold. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna send the PVC pipe down so the spray paint sticks a lot better to it and it doesn't peel off. I'm not gonna film that because it's just sanding some PVC pipe, but do that and it'll help your paint finish way better. So I'll do that. On to the next thing. Okay, so now I've got the paint set up over a couple days and I'm gonna attach the scaffolding to the wall. I'm gonna use the end caps up on the PVC, take those off, drill a hole through them, and then drive them into the wall. And that will secure this nicely so that if kids try and climb on it, I hope they don't climb on it, then uh, it should be good, so. All right, so I'm gonna drill a hole in these caps so that I can easily, more easily screw them into the wall, into the studs. So I've marked a little, I estimated the center point and just stick a drill in there and drill it out. Super easy. Careful not to cut yourself on the bit. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Do another one. And I'm not going to attach the ground. You could do, if you wanted to attach them to the ground, you could use some flanges that grab onto PVC, but it, it should be fine without it. You know? If you train your kids right, they won't mess it up. <laughs> Perfect. Now we need to measure and mark out the studs of where these are going to go. I designed the scaffolding to be 32 inches apart on center, just like I framed this basement, which was 16 inches on center. So two stud bays away and you got your mark. Should be pretty easy. We'll find the studs, mark it out, figure out where these caps are supposed to go, and we're good to go. an edge. Here's the other edge. So I only have to I only have to find one stud because I know that the measurements are good, but I'll double check just in case I frame this poorly. Perfect. Okay. Now the height. Boom. Now I'm going to screw these caps into the wall in the places I marked them. And just using two inch screws, uh, that'll ensure they get, they hold really nice and tight in the studs. 
if you don't have studs and you can't do it, use drywall anchors, it's okay to use drywall anchors. <laughs> don't just screw directly in the drywall, it's not gonna hold, especially if a kid comes and grabs it and pulls it or something like that, so. Do it right, the first time. All right, now I'm gonna use these clamps and attach this tubing to the scaffolding and should be a good time. So let's do it. Okay, well here it is. I made a bunch of interesting turns and twists, and more importantly at the top, this opening is facing this way so that whenever balls or scarves come out, it'll come out towards the kids and they can catch it and it's a lot of fun. Okay, so right here, this is the bounce house fan. You can get, you can just buy the fan online too if you want, or buy a bounce house for your kid. It's a lot of fun. This end is going to go into a small box that will allow you to put something inside of the system while it's running. And then I'm going to put this fan in a box that's more soundproof. And I'm designing it so that you can attach the scarf cannon to the power source. And if you're done with that, then you can attach the bounce house to the air power source and switch between them really easily. So we'll show you that. Uh, right now I just have the scaffolding up for the skeleton and the tubing on it, which is pretty exciting. So I'm gonna give it a test, see what happens. Okay, let's test it out. I've got four ball pit balls. They're two and a quarter inch in diameter. Uh, but this will, this is a four inch tube. I mean, it's gonna fit any size ball pit ball that's out there. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, that's actually really cool. I'm pretty stoked about that <laughs> result. Okay, I'm excited. This is awesome. In part two, I'm going to put a box where you can have the fan continuously running and you can put in scarves and balls at, 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 your, at will. That's going to be great, so stay tuned for that. This 50-foot tubing is available on Amazon, link in the description, as well as these clamps that I got that are just holding it onto the PVC. And over here, this is a fan from a bounce house. And I'm going to build a box that soundproofs this thing because it is so loud. It is just obnoxious for me as a parent. <laughs> And that's coming in part two as well. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for, for the completion of this project. It's going to be awesome. And that soundproof box is going to make a world of difference. Okay, this thing is really cool. I'm very excited about it. That, that'll wrap it up though for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next part.